Hello? Are they gone? Is it safe? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that intro was. Hello, this is Dragon Cube 9600. It has been a long time. I've been really, really busy, guys, and I apologize for not keeping up my video um, output, shall we say, but you all know why I'm here because you read the title of the video. We are here for the 2018 Bumblebee movie trailer. I actually saw this trailer uh, like when it first dropped last week and I was about to click on it when I was by myself in my bathroom and I thought, no, no, this has to be for the channel. So normally when I watch a trailer, uh, since trailers are so short, I attach it to the end of a different video, but I thought this is important enough for it to be its own video. And I think it's like, you know, good enough for, for now, especially since I've had so much difficulty with copyright on my reaction vids. But regardless, haven't seen this trailer yet, but I've heard some good things about it, honestly, which is enough for me to get excited. So here we go. This is for the B movie. And yes, I will keep calling it that. You can't stop me. And we begin. Prepare your anus! <laughs> huh, okay. So, it's foggy. It's a giant man. So, if I remember correctly, this movie is going to be a prequel to the Bay movies. But honestly, they ought to just reboot the continuity because the Bay movies are kind of a mess. To put it mildly. Yes, I want a crappy <laughs> Volkswagen Beetle. Though, this movie takes place in the 80s, so wasn't crappy back then, just needs a little washing. Hello? Uh, could you pick that up, please? It's very embarrassing. I swear this doesn't happen. Hi. <laughs> That's actually a story thing I've never seen at Transformers. She looks under the car and sees where its head would be. You f sometimes you forget the wonder that the concept is supposed to inspire. Who are you? My name is Insect. Can't talk. <laughs> oh, he wants to be pet. <laughs> Scratch behind the ears. Have you ever seen that vine of a guy giving a real bumblebee a high five? <laughs> it's pretty cute. How long before people start shipping this woman in this bee? Like, has it already happened? Well, that was John Cena. And that's Starscream. <laughs> he looks good. You got people out there who need you. <laughs> All the Transformers fans, they need a movie like this. Are you ready for bees? You know, bee music can help you say what you're feeling. Try this. No? Hey, it's the 80s. Rick Rowling hasn't been invented yet. Okay, so, <laughs> it looks good. Um, what I like about this trailer is that it does, like, I mentioned it during the reaction, but it keeps up, like, a lot of the wonder and um, kind of mystique that the Transformers concept has and my favorite incarnations of it. Um, before I saw this trailer, I did see a lot of people comparing it to the Iron Giant, and I definitely see that. Um, sort of like the... Um, not just because it's about a robot and a human who make friends, but also just about like the sheer like wonder of encountering something bigger than you from a place that you can't fathom. And, and like, I don't know, it's, there's something almost mystical about it. But um, I, um, I do feel like maybe these movies could branch into their own, own continuity if they become successful enough, because I really don't think, like after the atrocity of the fifth movie. Like, I actually don't see where the story could go, and probably Michael Bay is somewhere laughing, jerking off, talking about story, and I don't think he's attached to the Transformers movies anyway, anymore anyway, but you, you could really tell they're going in a different direction, and, and um, I'm really excited for this movie, and especially uh, Starscream's new design. He actually, I thought Starscream would have some dialogue in this movie, because people were so excited to see him. I thought, oh, we must have seen some scenes of him being Starscream, which he hasn't really gotten a chance to be in the live acting continuity, but no, it was just the new design, which looks closer to G1, but still has that kind of like overly detailed Bayformer look, even though 
We're just going to keep calling them Bayformers forever, aren't we? That word is just in our vernacular. But anyway, super excited for this movie. Can't wait for future trailers. Um, it's nice that the main character is a girl and that she isn't super sexualized every frame she's on screen, though she is still attractive. But, like, she's not, like, you know, push out your boobs and butt at the same time. Somehow, Michael Bay with your slinky spine. Anyway, um, really excited for this movie. And hopefully the activity on this channel will keep going um, with more frequency than it has been, especially since it's summer. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll even watch some not Transformer stuff in the future. Though I'm not sure why you'd want that. Basically, I just live and breathe Transformers at all times. Anyway, this is Dragon Keeper 96600 signing off.